Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as a beautiful USA. So last time, we kind of watched the world be a little peaceful, maybe a little bit peaceful. Uh, we saw the United Countries of Czechoslovakia and Poland become the Zapatoslavia group, or the Polish group, or what were they named now? Krakow? Uh, we're on the intelligence modifier. Uh, the Union of Zapatoslavia. That is what they have become, which is... All right, our book. Um, so last time we kind of questioned what was going to happen. We didn't know exactly what's going to happen, and we're still kind of waiting to see what happens, especially with China. I hope things really do heat up, even though we kind of have a cold war with them to a degree. They have one family, so with this episode, was probably going to be the last episode. Maybe, maybe not, depending on what happens. Uh, yes, yeah, senators criticizing policy all the time. Well, eighty-seven percent. Man, this seems. This is completely unrealistic. Holy cow, the Senate with 87% support in there, and then, ooh, area feeling, but 92% support in the House. Man, this is totally unrealistic, but whatever, we'll enjoy it anyways. Let's get some C-19, 119 flying blocks cars from the Fairfield job. Last time we did our focus with working on the interstate, and it's only a mere 280 days. But a couple of comments from yesterday. First of all, someone recommended that when we finish this campaign, when I'm done with this, we should play as the French, maybe play as the UK, which I will eventually. I don't think it's going to be next, because I do, I do have a few other plans in mind immediately after this campaign, but we'll see what happens. Uh, at the time of this recording, time is a, a valuable resource that I don't have a lot of, so we'll see what happens. I'm open to it. Eventually, I will get to it, so I promise you that. Uh, let's see. We can do Turkey, because why not? Now, there's another comment recommending that I go to war with the Soviet Union, and uh, basically put them down, because we need to stand against communism. Great noble idea. I think we should do that, but... Sorry, I'm zooming in, zooming out all the time, but I don't know if we can. Uh, the Marxist Leninists, Marxist Leninists, uh, that are led by Konev, of course, still, but war goals can only begin from national focuses, events, and or decisions. I'm somewhat hoping that with this focus stream, uh, we could get to doing military stuff, which would be cool. We don't obviously have a coup, which can happen, uh, but I did read up on what how you can get a coup. Uh, ooh. House? We actually got five more percent. Every time that happens, almost every time that happens, we get more support, so that's actually surprisingly effective to do. Conservative values. Now, I looked into how to get some of this stuff. Oh, and we have Walker. Walker, this Walker guy, it was Erwin Walker. He's very interesting. Uh, yeah, Ed, General Edwin Walker. Yeah, he's a very interesting guy in real life. Uh, but if you wanted to get the coup, you had to go with Taft, which is the son of... Robert Taft is the son of the President Taft earlier in the country's history. So, uh, Suicide Pills School went up. So that was actually really cool to read about that, how to get the coup started, and how you basically have to go isolationist for things to happen. But let's go special forces. I like, we, we're using marines. We got paratroopers as well, I think. Ground support, soft attack, division speed. Yeah, we get another tactic, and I want another tactic. So tactical destruction, air land strikes. Yes, please, thank you. Let's have go on. And another division, great. And it's weird to look at this. We have the Republic of Colombia, you see. But we have the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. I don't know what Bolivarian is. is that like a currency? Because I know what Bolivia is. Bolivia is right here. Bolivarian, though. Is that a... I've heard of that word. But Venezuela? What's going on here, man? Air school? Few new national ideals. No more opposition. They're by Perez Jimenez. Which sounds like an old house in in Spain. At the time of this recording, I think it was Jimena that I was playing like a lot of, a lot of uh, Crusader Kings 3 in my own time, so... That just reminded me of the internal market, harsh import tax, protectionism, so, uh, cool. And let's grab some convoy sailing, because why not? It's a great thing to get. Region-wide stuff. Uh, we couldn't do any aerial reconnaissance. We couldn't launch strikes because we killed them too quickly. Dealing with Italy. They went democratic, of all things. Uh, inflation is looking great. Interest is looking great. I guess if we could, had to, I don't want to really mar MacArthur's presidency with coups potential coups and especially the failure that could happen so we're not going to do that we got plenty of anti-tank we need some more regular tanks and artillery we're doing okay with that stuff we could use maybe a little bit more of this maybe get a little bit more of that the first regime during the fascist years elections and political freedoms were suppressed by the regime after but after a new democratic regime had assumed control elections finally been organized and carried out in the CL CLN PDA so is that Italy yeah in Rome Okay, cool. Uh huh. All, all right. Well, at least things are looking up for Italy, I guess. Uh, let's see. Strategic bombing, escort efficiency, nighttime strategic bombing penalty. Strategic, uh, we're not using, really using strategic bombers. We'll do, do day bombing. That'd be fine with me. We got a lot of spies. 
which I like, which is cool, but not a lot to use them for. Uh huh. Well, let's just do what we do best. I want to do. I want to get the max house representative support, but increase this house support. We probably get an event helping us out with the Senate and House again, so let's do the House first. Ooh, the Russian Republic declared war on Mongolia. Very cool, very cool. Can I send you volunteers? Please let me send you something. I want I want to send you something. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Something, please, please, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Russia, we gave you the Sakhalin Islands. Come on. Cancer of military access. Uh, no, we good for now. Get another division. That's very nice, very nice. Hmm... Increased private investment is gone. Oh, well, okay then. Marines. Well, make another army then under Eisenhower. Who's still serving? Mark Clark. Uh, Charles, he's politically connected. No, thank you. Uh huh. We still get 1.53 a day. Send some 5,000 rifles. Go right ahead. That's fine with me. Uh, one thing we've not checked out though is our GDP. I wonder how we're standing. We almost have 300 factories, which is really nice. Okay, West Virginia, you get a refinery. You get one here in Kansas too. Uh, very good, very good. Let's see, anything around here? 57 helicopter. Yeah, I get some Chickasaws. Sikorsky H19 Chickasaw. Cool. Very, very cool. Available war goal against Hungary, Bulgaria. Like I said before, we could go to war with them, but there's no supplies here that we could really get to. We have to make a port and hold territory. I don't know, man. That doesn't seem very interesting. I mean, I guess at the end, if we have nothing else to do, we will. So, uh, let's see. Where are my Marines? We could just land tanks and punch, punch a hole through all of these guys probably pretty quickly but these are mountains and that would not be very good hmm are you guys 40 com no you're only 32, 32 combat with well that's not ideal I can't even make better marines oh and we are getting close to pretty close to done with that the UK recognizes the Delhi government an interesting development very cool the Soviet Union declared one of the Turkmen People's Republic cool cool Republic of India, how are you doing? Lessons of World Wars. They probably have a generic focus. No, they don't have a generic focus tree. Ooh, India. Hello there. Let's see, you can do the Democratic Indian Union. Create their own faction. We must unite our neighbors together into a singular Democratic Defense Union against those who wish to harm us. Invest in natural resources or natural beauty, and then relations with the UK goes up plus by with 100. Okay. The Soviet Union is being very, very aggressive. Oh, what the heck? Good, just keep uh, exercising, that'd be good. I guess for our navy, we could exercise as well. Wow, we got a lot of uh, spare ships here. Uh, go help them out over there, and then you do that right there. Very good. Oh yeah, last time we went to war with Iraq, just because the UK wanted to. Uh, the UK, always trying to invade other people and mess around with their politics. Oh, the UK. Send them some more rifles, because why not? And I do have a cup of tea here, but it's very hot. Very, very hot. Oh, anything else around here? No... We can't do this because we need Excavation 3. Hmm. Industrial integration isn't necessarily a bad thing. Alabama gets an extra research slot, which is okay. Uh, let's check out the GDP, like I said earlier. So, we're number one. China's number two. And France's number three. Germany's number four. UK is fifth. Just right, be, right in front of India, which is right in front of Malaysia. And the Soviet Union, not looking too good, neither is Italy. But we are by far, in a way, the most powerful one in the world in terms of industrial ranking, as it should be. Okay, guys, can you hurry up with uh, Mongolia? You're taking forever. Can I send volunteers to Mongolia, then? Well, at least the Soviet Union is having a good time. Can I send you volunteers? No? Okay. Can I send you guys volunteers? No? I didn't think so. Cool, and we're almost done with our naval doctrine. Integrated convoy defense? Sure, why not? Why not? So we got two... Let's make one more nuclear reactor. That'd be fun, right? Uh, I'll put it in Tennessee. Nothing like Tennessee. I'll put it in Gatlinburg. I think that's a state. That's a city in Tennessee. Gatlinburg. Uh, let's see. Union of Yugoslavia. Cult of the Iron Hussar. Research development. I would probably would have gone with that one instead. But you know, that's a pretty important to do. And let's see. They get mobilization speed, recruitable population factor by ten percent, more stability, and more war support, both by ten percent. All right. I, I just want to see what happens after we complete like some more of these focuses. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, we finally can work on the interstate. So we lost political power, which is fine. Way faster construction infrastructure construction speed. Game more infrastructure only during available from the 1956 to 1960. There's really not much else here. Recruitment drive is okay. Reconnaissance, bonus to helicopters, armor. 
Um, welfare focus, increase private investments for two years. We can speed things up. Why not? Who cares? So the economy is simply the amalgamation of several private actors working together. They are the ones who should keep it running and should therefore, therefore be encouraged to invest. We did it last time, so I guess might as well do it again, right? Might as well. It was so successful last time that we'll do it a second time. Oh, my guys are still over there in Iraq. Day bombing's cool. Just go with night fighter escorts. Awesome. Ah, look at those factories. Beautiful. Hey, we've got five more uh, XP. So that means we can train even more guys now. Beautiful. There we go. Alright, well, Soviet Union, I hope you're having a good time. Please go to war with the Russian Republic. Please keep suspects under watch. I need to play as definitely as the Soviet Union sometime here. Most definitely. New NKVD research endeavors. Very nice, very nice. Um, we don't know... Oh, they're over here. Arrest them all at midnight. Alright, well, have a good time. Happy 1958, though. I didn't say it yet, but it's 58. Oh, move spirit. Internal opposition, party factionalism. The union is in shambles. Remove Zukov and retires as general. Oh. Those who must die. Shoot the rest with tank guns. Uh, okay. Oh, we're out of... We're out of manpower because of that last decision. But okay. Hey! Okay! The second side of Mongol War. The steeps are about blaze once again. <gasps> Wait, Soviet Union, why'd you go to war with Baratia? Oh, I must suck to be a Mongolian in this timeline. Who's gonna get the capital then? Because this, this is one big old state. Oh, I just... <gasps> oh, you're fighting each other! Yay! Yay! Can I help you? Please, let me send you volunteers. I want to send volunteers. Let me go to war with you! <clears throat> Oh, uh, why can't I go to war? Why, 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 why? Hmm. Oh, what happened here? Did they get non aggression back to the Chinese? Yeah, at this point, I guess we could get more uh, political power. Create sections? I mean, we could. Send 5,000 rifles? We could. Yeah, well, the German People's Republic. Oh, wait, there we go. Interstate highway system. So, consumer goods factories 1% for 42 days. More inflation. Highways upgraded all over the place. Well, at least that's kind of cool. We get decisions for that. I like that. Uh, let's do. Let's do the steel bolt first. New England. I like New England. Must, like I said yesterday, it must be, or in some other timeline. I said it's weird to live up here. What type of flag is that for Canada? What the heck? Oh, I think I said that before too. Southeast, center east. What is this? Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky. You got Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee, but not North Carolina. Just call it the Mid Atlantic, man. Just call it the Mid Atlantic, the Midwest. Iowa, Missouri, South Dakota's... Uh, actually, we could probably use it there. We already have infrastructure in a lot of different places. Let's do the Midway Highways first, just because that'll connect the country a little bit easier. Even though probably... We're going to do it everywhere. Let's just be real with ourselves. We're going to try to do it everywhere. Wait, recruit in Canada? Oh, it's probably this stuff, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, okay, so the Russian Republic actually got it. That's cool. It's going to probably have... Yeah, a lot of resistance to deal with, probably. Um, Guys... I'd love to help you. Please. Please. Let me help you. Come on. Free trade agreement with Japan. No, don't do free trade agreement with Japan. Help. Let me get involved. Uh, where are they doing that? Oh, it's down here. Naval artillery, airplane production, war colleges. Uh, let's see. Ultimatum to Barati. I don't know why they did so long to do that. Conquest of Mongolia. They did that once. The Soviet border. Fortress Sakhalin. Oh, they want a two-front war, huh? Come on, I've got nukes. I want a nuke. Uh, let's see. So, senators. Five more percent. Why not? Why not? You know. Did I have to raise my conscription level at all? Not at all. Not really. Uh, I can't raise it. Actually, I can raise it, which is fine, but... Uh, that looks almost cut off. How is the war going between these two? 98% world tension. Not bad. Not bad. Soviets, oh, Russian war, 30,000 versus 12,000. Looks like these guys are taking quite a bit more. Uh, the Russian Republic does have less in terms of factories, even though they do have Bratia on their side, but they have quite a few less divisions. They might actually be equal, maybe, in terms of with if they have Bratia with them, but uh, I don't want to say I put my money on the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, but I'm probably going to put my money on the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and now we're done with our naval doctrine. Welcome. Armor. Oof. I don't want time to go on without doing anything, but... Oh, here we go. Support weapons 3. That'd be nice. Oh, we can get some M10s. Nice. We'll do that one, too. We'll get some more 
political power. Give it some more manpower. So we can continue training and stuff like that. Come on, China, what are you doing? Please go to war with me. New land reforms. Well, don't do the Great Leap Forward, please. The Vietnamese shame. Consolidate power. It's not really difficult to... Not super difficult to take out Vietnam when you're playing this China early game. Attention to the economy. They're doing it in next, it looks like. Internal president. The Nanjing years. Dynastic politics. Growth above principles. Hey, they went to war with Tibet. Oh, that's a very Chinese thing to do, I guess. Still no volunteers. Why, why, why? You want rifles? We could send you rifles. Do you need rifles? What's their stockpile like? India, please go to war with someone. I mean, I'm glad these guys decided to kill each other off, but... Yeah, come on. Uh, let's see. Falling fortresses? Sure, why not? Let's see. Stockpile. They got plenty of manpower. Actually, how much do the Soviets have? Oh, that's a good amount of factors. That's, a, that's a more than what I thought they had. Oh, now they have 74. Okay. We got 2 million. Uh, these guys look like they're definitely the weaker group here. Let's see. Stockpile? Well, we don't have enough intel. That sucks, but whatever. How's Italy doing, actually? They're still kingdom. And now they're liberals, led by Ferrocico. Ferrocico Pari. A young democracy. Hmm. Airline strikes. Very good. Let's grab some combined blitz. Soft attack, hard attack, division speed. Great, 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 great. Hmm. Interstate highway system. I wish we could do more than one at a time. But I guess it makes sense. Regional stuff. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Get, build that infrastructure. Build, build, build. And once that's done, we're going to keep making another one as well. Ah. Nuclear reactor in Arkansas. Chickasaw helicopter. Thank you very much. Just let time go on for now. Just Let's go and grab transistor computing. Why not? It's only 300 days away. Okay, trying to clear war in Burma. Troubling news. Oh boy, can I send you volunteers? And the usual answer is no, but I will do send attaché just to see what happens. Actually, how many divisions do you have? They've, mm, they've seven. That's not enough. Not enough. Uh, let's send them back. Okay, so we have 102% support in the House of Representatives. Uh, the numbers actually didn't go up, but now we have 102%. That is more than I knew that we had in the House of Representatives. So, normally, mm, like... Do we make new states? Is Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. now a state so we got even more support or something? Or Actually, who is this? Jammu and Kashmir. I've never heard of Jammu. Yamu. Hari Singh. I've heard of Kashmir, but I've never heard of Jammu. This must be Jammu over here. This must be Jammu. Or the Gilgit. Baltistan. Interesting. Please, India, trying to go to war. Please. I'm not just saying, just not only in game, but maybe real life, that'd be kind of cool. Just saying. A Sino Indian or Indio Indian Sino War. It's probably Sino Indian War. Uh oh, that's so sad. Surrounded by the Chinese and just going to get demolished probably there. Eh, but they're pushing back a little bit, actually. So we'll see what happens. Support Weapons 3. How about we get some uh, Super Bazookas? Ooh, I like that. Super Bazookas. Plenty of anti tank. We need more. Oh, we actually need more guns now. Huh. Well, throw them on. Oh, I'll give you some more rubber. Keep building a lot of that infrastructure. That'll be very, very nice. Arkansas, Oklahoma. Even more rubber. Yeah, the USSR is definitely pushing into the Russian Republic. That is not looking good. Why can't I send them stuff? Can I send you an attaché? Not at all. Hmm. 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 Alright, so what do they have? Department of National Surveillance. NKVD's Reign of Terror. Uh, Resource Extraction Department. People's Utility Squads. Not very much. They really emphasize NKVD internal opposition. That's not good. Party factionalism is really not good as well. Airdrop the least guilty over Siberia. Wait, are they doing helicopter drops? They're... Mm, okay. I didn't know that communists did that, or Marxist Leninists dropped people out of helicopters to give them helicopter rides, but okay. <sighs> helicopter rides sound like so much fun. Artillery, Jesus, that's the Warwick, plus 25%, and no, it's only artillery, but that looks like a lot of fun. That looks like a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. How far are we on our focus? Oh, we're almost done with private investments, that's cool. So, more consumer goods we can use, faster construction speed, better cap and growth for two years, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, there goes Burma. 
Oh, this is so sad. Why was there no UN resolution to say, hey, stop attacking Burma? Oh, they have Burma and then the Shan Union. Huh. Sao Nong Hern Kham. Okay, increased private investments. I was kind of hoping, like, in TNO, they would pop out another focus tree down here, but maybe not. F science funding? Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Science funding gives you plus 25% construction speed. Uh, this might be glitched. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, this one says research speed. This one says construction speed. So if you don't take increased government investment, you still get the same benefit for research speed. Okay, whatever. Welfare focus? Hmm, not bad. Uh, military improvement program. I'm gonna go with resource extraction. Ah, this looks pretty good though. You get some daily army speed plus 0.25. That's pretty good. And naval XP as well. Military and, and research. Military factory construction speed plus 10%, and then research speed. We'll do one more. Let's do extraction just because we can build infrastructure faster. So America is in a land with an incredible amount of natural wealth. But that wealth does not serve much of a purpose if it's kept where it is. We should seek funds in order to begin the mass extraction of the natural resources required for industry. Hey, look at that. We mobilized, and now we have almost 900,000 men in reserve. Uh, strategic bombing, air superiority, offensive formations. Yes, please. Throw in another division over. Oh. Oh. Hello. Very nice. Very good, Omar Bradley. Keep training, keep training. Well, people that need to train. As we watch these guys die. How much more can we mobilize? We're at 2.1%. We, we need to get to 2.5%. Even though we lose manpower because we're an established democracy for some reason. Oh, we're done mobilizing. All right, then. Man, this tea is still very hot. Wow. Woo. Midterm elections. The people are fickle. Unfortunately, being in power comes with its downsides. The opposition has successfully been able to blame our administration for anything that went wrong in the last few years. While for us, the incumbent's enthusiasm is lower. As a result, the opposition has made significant gains this year in the House and Senate. Do, I, do, do we really care? Like, oh, oh, actually, I care a lot. 30% less in the House of Representatives. Jesus Christ, we were at 102%. Now we're at 72%. That's still passing. Well, that's not good passing. Okay, so we only lost support in the House. Not... Okay, that makes sense. Because that... Wait, hold on. Because mm, I know every two years... Every six years for the Senate... Is it every two years for the House? I, I'm not in politics, you know. So, whatever. It's fine. I... I don't think MacArthur really cares at this point. He's, he's pretty much done. I don't know if there's term limits in this era, this campaign, so... We'll just go with whatever works. Uh, M10s, that look pretty really cool. XM16E1s, what else do we have down here? M16A1s, that's cool. And 78? Oh. M16A2, cool. Uh, let's see. Support office for... Might as well. We might as well, right? Might as well. Xylophones, we could get that if we really want to. Mmm, now we good. Early helicopters, Chickasaw, we're okay. Oh, what are you guys up to? Oh, you guys are doing stuff down here? Yeah, take that off. There you go. If everyone needs a train, go right ahead. Totally fine with that, totally fine. More submarinos, throw them right there, have a good time. Korea opens up in an effort to accelerate the economic development and growth of the country. The government of Korea is encouraging foreign investors and firms, especially from the U.S., to invest and do business within their country. This new market opening up provides a brilliant economic to opportunity for us. More construction speed and sends 10% of IC to America. So we have 306. Does that go up then? Maybe? Oh, oh, nice. Throw those guys right there. That'd be nice. Throw you guys right there. Spain offers basing rights. Okay, the recent offer sent by the Spanish government has been rather interesting for the U.S. Spain is currently selling bases and basing rights to the U.S. Their offer would help America add a foothold on continental Europe and could even help bring Spain into the light of democracy due to our influence. <coughs> While there's definitely a price to be paid for these bases, it's far from a bad deal for the U.S. Uh, Army. Sold? Uh, yeah, please. MacArthur couldn't come home and say, We got rights to Spain. And then the, it's gonna, the country's going to erupt into thunderous applause and say, Yay! Yay! Why? <laughs> rifles now. we got to work on our rifles. Uh, soon enough, we'll have this done in three days. So we got to do something else. Uh, deep South for Alabama, Mississippi, Southeast. I wanted to do the Steel Belt. So Great Lakes. Uh, we'll probably do the Great Lakes. So I was upgraded in the Midwest. Some stretches of the new highways have been completed and are usable by traffic. The ongoing project can now begin to benefit the residents and economy of the Midwest region. Great. 
Oh, upgraded highways. Cool. Even though, actually, didn't I already upgrade the Midwest? I think I already did, didn't I? Yeah, I already, I already did almost the entire nation. Let's focus on the West Coast, or the Western side then, because 10 out of 10 is already pretty good in my book. Uh, the Far West. California, Washington. Yeah, we might as well do that one. That's the one we need to do. How's the inflation rate? 2.9%. It's only seven nukes? It's 59. Happy 1959, though, by the way, my friends. Happy 1959. We got another spy. Jane, she's a smoocher. Smooch, smooch. And the Russian Republic is slowly getting crushed. China, what are you up to? Inland development. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, where is that? It's over here. Some buildings. Cool. Widespread poverty with alleviating poverty. Coastal development. So it seems like China's really trying to industrialize. Hmm. Sounds like a problem. We have Afghanistan, the Kingdom of Yemen, Republic of Turkey's done, the one for Baratia is done as well. Let's see. Oh, we're done with that, of course. Uh, I guess Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You never know if we might have to invade them. Oh, let's see. Ah, M10s. Good. Official United States rifle. It is an American lightweight air cooled magazine gas operated rifle that fires 6.72 to 51mm TA. Oh man, that's, that's a big bullet. That is a big bullet. Winter Dance Party Tour Tragedy. Tragic news has come out of Iowa tonight, reporting that a plane crash involving Buddy, Holly, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper have resulted in the untimely deaths of all three stars. The other singers involved in the tour have announced that they are intended to finish what they started. This represents a great loss for rock and roll, and we can only ponder what other great hits these singers could have made. This will be remembered as the day music died. The music died. Okay. Interesting to say the least. Alright, where's my army? I really, how, how big is the army of Bulgaria? Like, I... It's not bad. 16 divisions. You know what? We got spies. Uh, there we go. I guess. Again, I guess. Uh, is there only two there? I thought I said three. Senators, just hit him back. It's fine. Smack him down. She seems really too, really too happy to do what she's doing. Oh, you're over there too. So two, three or four over there. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, anti tank. They have a thousand. 16 divisions, division-wise. Oh my goodness, they're not that strong. All right, we're gonna go to war with Bulgaria. We gotta go out with a bang, right? Send in the tanks. Uh, who am I allied with? The UK. So we'll come from Cyprus to invade there. It's gonna kill supplies probably. Oh, uh, we'll come from there as well. And we're just gonna move as fast as we possibly can to take everything out. This might not go very well, but we'll see what happens. Mm, just coming back to Port Said. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Let's see. Marines. I really have no good place to put them. There's nowhere that has, has a lot of... Uh, offensive formations, cool. And we'll do some mass destruction, because why not? Why not? Alright, chips. More submarinos, cool. Do that. Don't go there, but then go right here. Another sub, cool. You guys, stop training. Do that, but stop doing there, and instead go to here. Because you might as well. Alright, let's see. Send support, 102%! Again, because why not? Why not? Two hundred twenty-one days left. Send five thousand rifles. So more than halfway done with the resource extraction campaigns. Uh, how are our tanks? Are they doing okay here? They're still moving in there. Reduce welfare spending. Okay. Uh, let's see, they're still moving in. Still taking a while. Going around the world. It looks like. And you guys are ready to go. We might just need three tanks because they don't seem that strong. But we'll see what happens. If I can get an airbase, that'd be great. As long as we can build like a port here, that's all that matters. And you guys have shown up as well. No, it's this group that we want. Cool. We finished something. I wasn't really sure, but I didn't really read it. Alright, well. I think the tanks are ready to go, for the most part, right? 
Well, once you get on the island of Cyprus, please don't have supply issues. For the love of God, please don't have supply issues. Ah, more division is nice. We could pair drop as well, but I'm, I'm a little too lazy for that right now. All right, supply issues are hopefully non-existent. All right, well, let's go to war then. See what happens. Call everyone in. Yes, you can join as well. Just so we have some little action here. Uh, do we have strategic bombers? Well, that's too many planes there. Hmm. It's not ideal. Thunder jets. Pre-war. It, it, it doesn't matter. I doubt we have air superiority, do we? Okay, let's nuke it. I gotta feel American at least a little bit, right? Varna, nuke it. Nuke that too, because we can. Oh, actually, they've done that too, huh? Oh, we actually don't have air support right there. Well, ah, America. Go ahead, cut that division off. Cut them all off. Actually, and then break for the sea. You go straight for the capital if you can. Go for Skopje, however you pronounce that, and go right there. Vlad. Yeah, there's no way I can even get to Hungary, because that's the other world goal we have. It's against Hungary. 97. Uh, how many have we... We killed off 18,000 of them already. That's nice. Oh, boy. We're finding enemies all over the place. That's not good. Uh, do that one, too. Why not? More decryption. Because why not? Oh, yeah. That's not going to be good. Really not going to be good, eh? If they really want more hurt, I mean, we'll give them the hurt, then. Nice. How many times do I have to nuke you, Bulgaria? You've lost quite a few guys already, and you are... Yeah, I got plenty of manpower, actually. Well, just make sure we don't lose. You know, just, just retreat for now, and hold. Just hold for now, because we need as many supplies as we can possibly get. Do not let them do that. Do not let them do that. God, I want to nuke them again, but we can't. Just hold for now, and help out. All we need is a port here. Oh! Lao People's Democratic Republic, and they're attacking us again. God dang it. Go right there if you can. That'd be good. Thank you. Build, 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 build. On June 9th, that's good. Combined Blitz. That'll help out with some more soft attack with infantry if we really need it. Screw it, we're gonna go with this. It's only 1,200 days ahead of time. That's whatever. Oh, this is a bad idea. But what else was, was I supposed to do in this? There's really nothing I can do. God dang it, we're defeated there. How about over here? Nuke him again. Nuke him again. Just make sure we don't get attacked. Don't get attacked. For the love of God, do not get attacked anymore. Oh, we're so close to getting supplies. Just give me three days. Three days. That's all I ask. All I ask is three days. Three days. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't get attacked. We got a port. We've got a port. Kids. Kids? I don't have any kids. I hope I don't have any kids. Uh, yes. Hold on. It's only one level port for now. They're, they can't do anything against us then. Throw them all here, and we're about ready to go again. We're going to end on a high note. And by high note, I mean a violent note. And that's okay. Hammer reel. Tartar. Oh. Uh, the R word. Eh, whatever. Let's go. Three. Two. Well, go ahead. They're done. They had the opportunity to, to kick us out, but America pulled through. Like she always does. Now you get a nuke again, Sophia. Now they can really actually stop us, huh? They can kind of pierce us. Do they even have any tank on their divisions? They might. Now they got engineers. Of course, trying to use tanks in the mountains is a really bad idea, but whatever. This is America. We do things the way we want. I criticize policy, I don't care. Uh, that's okay. Send in the Marines, too. Marines and infantry, of course. How many more times do I have to nuke you? Well, I'm out of nukes. God dang it. Bulgaria? Do we do Bulgaria? Oh, we don't, we don't do Bulgaria yet, huh? Well, we've lost about 8,000 versus 123,000, so that's not too bad. Not feeling too bad about it. Just don't lose a port. Oh, we got the tanks coming in. Great. Kavala. Good. We're running out of things to do, too, here with uh, building, building, building. God, fighting amounts must suck. Resource extraction. Cool. And we'll, uh, we're done with that, huh? I'll uh, do some more encryption stuff. Good. And we shall finish with the last focus here, doing what? 
Welfare? Uh, military improvement program. In order to secure the, or ensure victory in this new global conflict, our military must be kept in the best shape possible. We will push a new heavily expanded budget through Congress in order to achieve this end. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we can't seem to win here, which really is just trash. It's god-awful around here. Get the infantry gun there. They should be able to help push the heck out of them. Uh, if you would be so delightful and could do that, that'd be awesome. Come on, get over there. Uh, that's okay with me for now, as long as they don't get encircled. Nope, don't let them move. Support weapons four, good. Grab some anti-tank five, that's fine. Oh, we're actually beating one back, nice. Nice, go and do that, good. Surrounded and expanding our control. Even though we're still struggling a little bit. Alright, okay, Sophia, you want it again? You want me to do it again? I'll do it again if I have to. If we have enough air superiority, which we don't. God dang it. Seriously, how are these guys holding out this well? This doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, you guys help out too. Oh, no wonder. The Brits are attacking first. Ah, Sophia. Come on, come on. We've lost 32,000 versus 175,000, so be it, whatever. Get rid of those guys. Go and take all the land here, Marines. You'll be fine. Uh, do you have an upgrade? Arrow wheeler? No? Okay, well, whatever then. More divisions? Because why not? Why not? Bulgaria's looking pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, looking pretty good. Just gotta get nuked a few times first. Go and nuke the horses. I'm sorry, horses. I'm sorry. Nice. Go straight for the Sophia. Yeah, there's no way we can get to Hungary. Hey, we got Bulgaria. Thank you for playing, guys. Now, nope, I guess that'll end the campaign since there's really not much else going on here. China's not doing much. We got Bulgaria taken care of. Fate of Bulgaria. Return it to Yugoslavia. No, I don't think we will. Yeah, Socialist Republic. I don't know. Under Tito. The fate of Bulgaria. Install a new Bulgarian regime. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh. Um, I guess we can return that to them. They're, I don't like doing that, but you know what? It makes it look even worse, <laughs> actually. Uh, uh, who owns that? Macedonian state? Oh, I can release them. Can I give the stuff over here to Greece? Why can't I give stuff to Greece? Uh, there's nothing here, I think, that'll help us give stuff to Greece. But, you know what? Hope you enjoyed this campaign, guys, because that's pretty much going to end it for me here. So, if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.